Expectations for the Lima Senior Boys basketball team were high the day Quincy Simpson was hired as the new head coach last spring. After going 19 and 3 and finishing in second place in the track, Spartans haven't done anything to dampen those expectations as they open the postseason against Fremont Ross. Lima Senior with two wins over the Little Giants already this season. The Lima Senior would be without Elijah Pugsley. He was hospitalized earlier this week with the flu. First quarter action, Spartans Rico Stafford, the outlet to Elias Wright, finds Xavier Simpson, lays it in, Spartans up 9-4. After a little giant turnover, Simpson inbounds to Marquavius Wilson, spin, fadeaway jumper, it's a seven point lead for Lima Senior. Second quarter now, Simpson comes up with the steal, uses the Euro step, scores, but that'd be Lima Senior's only field goal of the second quarter, up by nine, but the little giants whittle away, final seconds of the half, Chris Liggins, eyes it, flies it, three is good. Fremont Ross up two at the break. Third quarter, Spartans down by one. Wilson comes up with the steal, and he will lay it in. Plus the foul, makes the free throw. Spartans back up by two, and then they begin to pull away. X finds Wilson over to Jalen Thomas. Hits the three, four-point lead for Lima Sr. And then Simpson, check out the great pass to the cutting. Rico Stafford lays it in. Later in the third, Wilson the lob. Stafford the alley-oop, I know Austin Scott's excited for that one. You can see that next week in the top five plays of the week as Lima Sr. pulls away in the second half and gets the third win over Fremont Ross this season. 54-42 the final, three Spartans in double figures. Simpson, Stafford, along with Wilson, survive and advances the name of the game in the postseason. That's what Lima Sr. did. I thought that game was probably one of our, one of our worst games we've played. Uh, but again, I thought Fremont did a great job in what the game plan was for those guys. Uh, we just didn't make shots. Uh, things didn't go our way. Um, but instead of hanging our heads, uh, we came in at halftime, stayed positive, and uh, we was able to make some plays in the third quarter. Uh, you know, we always just work hard, play as a team, try to do what we can do best, you know, and just keep working at it and run our plays and actually do them. Yeah, we are just in the locker room. Every win, they're going to be a big win, you know. We take ugly wins, too. As long as we get the win, go on to the next round. We expected it to be a dog fight. Anytime you uh, play a team three times in one year and you beat them twice, the third time is always going to be difficult. Um, there's not a lot of things we can do to change, uh, to get ourselves prepared better uh, when we've won twice. Uh, but on the other end, they have a lot of opportunities to change some of the things that they've done. And uh, they executed their game plan for the most part that we've seen. Um, I think we kind of settled down, uh, made, some, made some plays down the stretch and was able to come out with the victory. Yeah, um, some of our shooters weren't really hitting shots, so we had to go inside. You know, we had to make that little run, and it was just happy that we kept it. We were just getting good looks, and they weren't falling. Um, and I thought our confidence went south a tad bit. Um, I don't anticipate that happening much longer, but I, I think guys was playing not to make mistakes versus just playing simple basketball. and. and you know, they, they did a great job. You got to tip your hat to Fremont. Uh, obviously, the game plan was to take away the middle and uh, make us win by the jump shot. They did that uh, late in the game. We were able to make a couple shots, make a couple plays, get some defensive stops, and I think that was the game.